Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, wow, it's been a little while, <laughs> um, but I have a lot of really cool orders and like hauls and all different types of wax to share with you. Um, I went on a little bit of a oh I don't I don't know how to explain it, but I went a little bit crazy ordering some things, and then I was also gifted a few things. Um, so I do have quite a bit to show you guys, but I'm really, really excited. I think I have like seven or eight hauls to show you, so it's intense. Um, but let's go ahead and get started on this one. So this one is all about Twilight Garden Wax, um, right? Twilight Garden Wax Co. I don't know. Twilight Garden Wax. Okay, I just want to make sure I was getting it right. So I found this vendor on Instagram, and I saw, um, a couple people in particular always showing her stuff. Um, there's one girl, I, I want to say her screen name is in my spare time. I'm sorry if I got it wrong, but, um, she's always posting stuff and she was always posting the, um, advent calendars that, um, the owner did for Halloween. So every day she was posting her day or whatever, and I thought it looked really cool. Um, I knew I wasn't going to be able to get one because it's already too close to Halloween, but the rest of her stuff looked really nice. I did visit her website quite a few times, so um, I really just wanted to order. So I have all kinds of stuff in here, like literally all kinds of stuff. Um, of course, I didn't pull out all of my samples and extras. I think I got them all. Just want to make sure. Okay, so this is the business card. Super cute. I love like the pink, purple, blue, ombre. Those are my favorite colors ever. So. Twilight Garden Wax. This is all of her information. You can go ahead and, you know, pause the video. Um, I'll also put it in the description for you below so you can check her out. So yes, we are super, super Halloween today. I even have my Halloween nails. <laughs> I just thought it would look cute with the background. I don't know. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. So, um, she has a ton of different stuff, like a ton of different shapes, scoopables, squeezables, um, cuttables, jumbo things, small little things, like she has so much stuff. Um, I did go ahead and I wrote down all of the prices for the things that I bought. Um, I'll also, if I have time, go through the rest of the stuff. If not, I'll just put it all down below. Now, normally when I do this, I kind of just go through and make sure that I have all the prices and stuff for the things that I personally bought. Uh, but for whatever reason, I went a little bit crazy and wrote down like everything. So I'm not going to go through like every single item on the website that would take too long. Um, but if you guys have any questions, you can always ask or you can just go ahead and go to the website. Her website is super easy to navigate. Um, everything is like in a nice line. So like when you get on the website, um, it'll tell you like this was the October 17th restock. You click on that and then you get all of that stuff. Um, and then there's just like a bunch of stuff that she has. It's super easy to navigate. Like I said, I'm sorry. My brain is a little bit scrambly today. Um, let me see. Her uh, shipping is $10 flat rate no matter how much you buy. So you can place a $20 order or a $150 order and it'll still be only $10. Um, she does build a box for multiple orders. So what that is, is say you go in for a restock and you know you spend thirty dollars you pay the ten dollars shipping and then you're done well then the same day you go back in and you find more things that you want so instead of having to pay shipping twice you click on this button that says build a box and then you put in the code for um the order so you don't have to pay shipping again but this only works if you're doing more than one order you cannot put that code into your first order just to get away with not paying shipping you can't do that um but she also has wax cutters and poly bags that are super cheap. Um, I think the 4x4s are just $1 for 10 of them. She has shimmer shots, which I think are really cool. I wish I would have gotten one. So basically, they're just like little shimmer pods with like glitter shimmer in them. And you can add it to your bath water. You can add it to your wax. You can add it literally wherever you want. Um, clearly, it is safe for the body. So you can get like a full size one or a half size one, like a sample size. Um, Let's see, like I said, she has the down bar with all of the side categories. Um, she also accepts Sezzle on $25 or more. So um, that's basically kind of like a payment plan. So it's like, say your order is $50. So you'll pay, like, let's say $25 this week and then $25 next week or whatever. She does that. She offers customs. Unfortunately, that part is closed right now. Um, 
Her next restock, I did try to find out when her next restock is, but it just says to be announced. Um, and then she is also based in Celebration, Florida, which I thought was really cool. Um, so that's about everything. Now let's go through my stuff. So in the box, this was actually kind of funny. So I got another one of these little spiders. I know a lot of vendors are giving them out right now. Um, I was going through the box because she had like that really pretty shredded paper in there, like black and orange and purple and green. And I was going through it to make sure I wasn't missing anything. And this like literally popped out at me. So I thought that was really funny. <laughs> and then she gave me some candy. And I'm not even going to lie. I'm really excited for this lollipop. Um, I love these lollipops. I have not had one in years and cherry is actually my favorite flavor. So I'm really excited to use that. All right, so let's get into my samples. So the first one she sent me is Haunted Carnival. Um, I know I bought this one, so I'll have to find the scent description after. It's so good. It's definitely a bakery scent. Um, I don't think I can find it really offhand. Let's see. I don't think so. That's okay. Oh, I found it. Okay, so it is a delicious blend of fried funnel cake, crisp caramel apples, and fluffy cotton candy. It smells so good. I love that one. I love that the caramel apple isn't super strong because a lot of the time it's like super overpowering and you can't really smell anything else. All right, next one is Halloween hotcakes, which kind of speaks for itself. I don't know everything that's in it, but it's definitely like a nutmeg, spicy pumpkin scent. So it's probably like a pancake, pumpkin, spicy, cinnamon type scent. And then the last one she gave me is Halloween at Hogwarts and this really cute popsicle. I love this one because I love um, Harry Potter. So I thought that was really cool. Oh my god, I love this one. I don't know what's in it. It smells incredibly familiar, but I just cannot put my finger on it. Oh my god, it's so good. that I'll find this in description and I'll put it in the link because I really want to know myself, actually. That is so good. Oh, I also forgot to show you. This came in the box as well. Um, it just kind of tells you about wax melts and how to use them and, you know, everything else. So you can pause this. I don't want to read it all. and just kind of waste time. I'll just put that right there. Okay, so we will get into the brittles because I already like smelt ones. So this is my Haunted Carnival Brittle, which we already went through. Super, super pretty. I love the little trinkets and stuff that she puts in there. And then this is the back of it. Um, there are pour dates, which is great. Um, two ounces or 57 grams. I thought that was cool. So I really like that one. And then the next one that I got is in Oktoberfest. And this is an autumnal blend of freshly picked pumpkins, sweet apple butter swirled with gooey caramel and crunchy leaves. This one is so cool looking. I love the little pumpkin in here. So uh, the brittles are two ounces and they're $2.40. I love this because it's not super bakery, even though I love bakery, don't get me wrong. But like after these couple orders, I am so burnt out on fall scents, it's not even funny. So, um, I mean, you get all of that, but then the crunchy leaves definitely kind of like overpowers a little bit the bakery stuff. Um, and I also wanted to mention that this leaves is not like the leaves from Bath and Body Works. This is like, you know, autumn leaves type of thing. It smells amazing. I love it. This one is actually three ounces. I thought it was a little bit heavier. It says on here three ounces, but I got it for $2.40, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> Okay, next one is, this is Halloween, an autumnal blend of leaves, cider lane, and pumpkin. So we got more of those little trinkets on here. It's a purple color. Smells so good. Um, this one is also three ounces. Oh, gosh. I love cider lane. And um, with the leaves and the pumpkin, too, oh, my gosh. It's so good. And again, it's not super bakery. It's definitely, like fall autumn in your face boom here i am all right next one is trick or treat a blend of vanilla ice cream candy corn buttercream bonfire leaves woods marshmallow and coconut this has a bunch of like different stuff on it okay so for this one i definitely get the bonfire and the marshmallow right away it smells like a marshmallow fireside and then you do definitely get like a kind of a coconutty scent and then you do get leaves and like a woodsy note, not so much ice cream or candy corn. 
or buttercream, but I don't know, maybe when I melt it, because I haven't tried anything yet, so I do not know how her wax performs. I wanted to put that out there. Okay, um, now I kind of just got a bunch of random stuff. So I got this cookie and pumpkin sugar cookies, which obviously speaks for itself. Um, now let's see, this one... Okay, so all of the different shapes, like the Fallen Bakery shapes, um, they all range from $1.56 to $4. This smells so good. Super heavy on the pumpkin. It is a little bit spicy. I don't really mind it. I know some people don't like super heavy spice, um, but I don't mind it. I think it's, it's good. All right, so then a little bit out of the ordinary. I got a cotton candy. I thought I got two of these. I guess not. I could have sworn I added two to my cart, but maybe she only had one in stock. Um, and on my invoice, it only got charged for one. So, um, But I thought this was super cool. I love these little bubble bars. So, I, again, I love the ombre. It matches her logo super well. I thought that was really cool. Um, this cotton candy scent is absolutely amazing. Oh, my God. So these bubble bars, I think... Oh, I put it with a bunch of other shapes. So these bubble bars and then other random shapes that aren't like fall and bakery are $1.40 to $3. Oh my God, this smells so good. So this is 2.5 ounces. So I'm going to assume it's like in the $2 range. Maybe a little bit less because she's like super cheap. <laughs> All right, next up is pecan pie. I love these little pies. I think they're so cute. This is actually pretty light, um, but you do get like a slight nuttiness and pie crust scent. I don't know. I'll have to see about this one. It is good though. It's just like a lighter scent. All right, next one is a little cinnamon bun, and this is in caramel apple cinnamon roll. Um, I'll take it out so you can see it because you can't really see it by the label. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like Cider Lane, to be honest with you. Look how cute. I want to eat it. It looks so good. Yeah, but to be totally honest with you, I think it smells like Cider Lane and then like an apple scent. I don't think it smells like cinnamon rolls at all. Um, it mostly smells like a, kind of like a fresh apple and then, oops, and then like a Cider Lane. It's still good though. I like it. All right, next up is Haunted Breakfast, which is uh, warm cinnamon rolls covered with a sweet pumpkin frosting. So this one is another cinnamon roll. Smells really good. It actually smells um, really similar to the um, pumpkin cookie. Look how cute. Yeah, that smells really good though. Again, a little bit on the spicier side. Um, I don't mind it, but I'm just warning other people because I know a lot of um, people that watch my channel don't really like spicy scents. Okay, then I got this super cute, um, it's kind of like a coffee shot, but like coffee in like a shot glass. So this is in Caramel Latte. I love caramel coffee scents. They are some of my favorites. So this is what he looks like. So cute. But to be honest with you, it's not strong at all. Like I don't smell any coffee whatsoever. It kind of just smells like sweet. I don't even really know how to explain it. It just kind of smells sweet. So that one's a little bit disappointing to be honest. All right, then I got another one, and this one is in a maple latte, um, maple sugar, vanilla cream, coffee, and hints of cinnamon and nutmeg. Super cute again. This one has a little leaf in it. Now this one smells like coffee. This one is amazing. Oh my god, you can get all of that, like the coffee and the vanilla cream and the cinnamon, nutmeg, maple sugar. Oh god, I wish I got two of these. I really do. Because I'll probably get two or three melts out of that one, but I would definitely like to have another one. Okay, then the last, like, little thing that I got is in gingerbread pumpkin. Um, freshly baked gingerbread with creamy pumpkin. This one sounded interesting to me because it was kind of like a holiday and fall one at the same time. It's kind of spicy. I'm not really about this one. It's kind of just like a boring, super spicy scent. So I'm not really into that one. Okay. So then I got a scoopable and um, I figured like, let's just go all out. Let's try everything. So I got a four ounce scoopable and this is in pumpkin lane, um, pumpkin, ginger, apple, nutmeg, cinnamon, cardamom, maple, caramel, vanilla, smoky, and woodsy notes. So there's a whole bunch in here. 
there's like a black thing on there. Open it. It smells so good. I'm actually really glad that I kind of jumped the gun and got one of these. So um, the scoopable is 460. This is what it looks like. So pretty. I like it a lot. You definitely get um, like an apple, caramel, maple, pumpkin scent. And definitely like the vanilla, smoky, woodsy. Oh, it's so good. Like everything on the label is what it smells like. I mean, I can't really describe it any better. And then it came with a little scooper spoon. I have so many spoons. I have like um, an area in my drawer where it's literally just a bag of spoons. <laughs> okay. Then the last thing that I got is squeezable wax. Now, I have had squeezable wax in the past from another vendor, and I really liked it. So I was like, again, let's just go ahead. So this is Autumn Caramel, a delicious blend of sweet caramel, toffee, and vanilla. So that sounded really good. Um, so this is 4.5 ounces, and this is $5.50. It smells so good. Again, it, it smells like the label says, caramel, toffee, vanilla. It's super sweet, and I can definitely see myself, like, adding a squirt of this into, like, a coffee scent, and that's what I love about it, is that you can just, like, open this thing here, squeeze in as much as you want. Like, you don't have to cut anything. Super, super easy for you. That's why I like these. Um, I wish more vendors actually offered these because it makes my life so much easier. No cutting, no wiping off the cutting board, no wiping off the cutter, you know, um, not having to measure to make sure you're not putting too much or too little in the warmer. It makes so much sense. I love these. I think more vendors should have them. <laughs> All right, so that's everything that I ended up getting. So overall, I am super impressed with this vendor. Um, I really like all of her scents. Uh, for the most part, I got, I think maybe like one or two things in here I said I didn't like. Um, her tat was crazy fast. I think it was like two days that she shipped it out. Um, maybe three if I'm guessing. I think I bought it over a weekend, so like I'm pretty sure she shipped it actually a little bit faster. Um, I love that she added extras and samples. I thought that was super nice. Um, and if her wax throws as strong and good as it smells on cold, then we'll be all set. Um, so like I said, overall, I definitely recommend this fender. Um, I will melt some stuff and then let you guys know as soon as I can because <laughs> I know I say that and then sometimes I get sidetracked or I forget you know I'll melt it and then kind of forget to come back so I'll try my hardest to come back um I'll put some other information in the down bar below I don't want to waste time but you know going through stuff that I didn't buy I guess I was just bored which is why I wrote down all that extra stuff I don't know okay so that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys so so much for watching I'll catch you in my next one um please stay safe sane and healthy bye guys